Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another Bible Art Journaling Activity and Devotional. I'm your host, Adrian Rosales. Very glad to be with you this morning. Pray you all had sweet rest last night and are awake and ready for this new day. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. All right. It's a choice you get to make to be happy. All right, let's choose happiness today. Let's choose joy. All right, I know things are going on around us. Stuff that would cause us to be sad, right? But know that God is in control. He, he sees, he knows, and he hears. And um, he's got you. All right. And as I say that to you, I'm saying it to myself, <laughs> okay? All right. Uh, hey, this is Bible Art Journaling. Uh, looking a little different this morning because I don't have a Bible. Uh, on yesterday, we did a nice little project, and it was fun. It was something that I hadn't done in a long time, um, and it was a sort of a mixed media kind of uh, project, and... Um, so I'm kind of on that same vein today. So not in my Bible. And I'm still talking about a good father since uh, we just had our Father's Day. And, um, and right now I need my father to help. And I, I know that there are a few others of you that are needing our good, good father to help um, with whatever it is that we might be facing um, today, this week, this month <laughs> or this pat or this year how about that all right and so uh, yeah use marker this is watercolor um, used uh, gel pens and acrylic paint and did some stamping and so this was our project on on yesterday want to do something kind of similar today and I uh, hope that you will join me. Program might be a little longer, and I apologize. I'm a little later than usual. Hey, summer hours. <laughs> um, at any rate, I am um, privileged to be able to get on each day and to share, and I'm hoping that someone will be encouraged, uplifted, inspired, and curious uh, to get into God's Word, to do something creative when it comes to worship, and hey, he's created all of his creation to create. And you're one of them. All right? And so get creative. Doesn't have to look like mine. Doesn't have to be paint or marker or anything related to uh, artistic stuff in that vein. Uh, it can be whatever. It, look, if you bake, all right, be creative with that baking. All right? <laughs> um there are all kinds of things that uh, we can do. God has given us all kinds of gifts and talents, and we are to use them to bless others and to bless him. And when we do that, that is a part of worship. Okay? All right. You go grab your materials. Join me for this activity today. And um, let's have some fun as we talk about God's word talk about this word either <laughs> okay and um let's have some fun and worship this morning father in heaven i just thank you so very much one for the day for life and health and strength and the ability to move and do to see to speak it's a privilege and it's an honor and it's a gift you've given us for today i pray lord that we use that um to bless others and to bless you I thank you for this opportunity to be on this platform, to share and to uplift you in your name. I pray, Lord, that someone will be blessed by what they see and hear. May your gospel go far and wide. Lord, there are so many who um, are struggling at this time, and I'm praying a special prayer for those that have reached out to me, um, asking for prayer and praying with me. And so... Uh, see to them today, Lord, I pray. Bring comfort, bring peace, bring understanding. And Lord, 
we'll just give you all the praise and honor and glory for the good God that you are to us as we look at our word today, Ezer and Ezra, because it means that you help. Help us to realize that and that you will and that you'll do it in your time. Help us to trust you, I pray. I thank you for what you're going to do. We love you in Christ's name. Amen. All right. Hey, if you're just joining me this morning, my Bible art journaling is going to look a little different. Okay. Um, and uh, this week I'm still talking about fathers. I got a story I want to share. I shared it when I spoke uh, this past weekend uh, about my dad. And so I wanted to uh, share that today. And uh, as we're doing our our mixed media project, um, and I'm trying to decide in which journal I, um, or uh, book I will use, okay? This is just... Uh, it's just a regular journal has, uh, the, the paper is almost, it's not copy paper. It's a little thicker than copy paper, but uh, I kind of call it my junk journal when I have um, some ideas of things. Um, you know, you remember when I did this? This was, oh, what year was this? I think 2018, maybe, when um, Ola passed away, my mother-in-law, and I found these, um, well, not these, but I found in an envelope uh, these eggs that she had cut out uh, in con with construction paper, and they had various people's names on it. And um, I just thought it was very sweet. On the envelope, it said prayer eggs. And so we did a project um, based upon that with all these eggs. And some of you all wrote in and said, hey, remember my family. And so I put, I put those names on here. wonder how these people are doing. Some of them I've kind of lost contact with. Mm. Anyway, okay. So yes, just, um, just some journal projects and uh, you'll see these on my <laughs> journals that I have on Amazon. The you got tea. <laughs> and just, you know, when I'm getting rid of some paint and I... So just some different ideas I've, I've got in here. This is from my shoes that I did for my coloring book. And I had these uh, pages in here because this is kind of sticky sometimes, you know, when it gets into heat and it'll stick together. It's okay. I don't mind it so much. I thought I had another one. Here's this one here. So these were all really, I mean, just fun to do. So I was thinking, you know, maybe, maybe I'll do, maybe I'll do a mixed media something today. And, um, some of them I've started, but I, I haven't put like a quote or a focal point or anything on it. Um, you don't have to. It's just so sort of what I do. So like uh, these, the butterfly and, and the floppy flower, my focal point, there's my word. And then I have a little bit of journaling that I've done on it. Okay. So maybe out of here, I don't know. This page is, I could do something on this page today, huh? I could. Uh, oh, and that one's nice too. All right, so let me put this aside because this is somewhat already <laughs> ready for me to work on. 
if I chose to do something out of there. This is, um, so that paper is a little different. It's not copy paper um, and it's not watercolor. Now this is watercolor paper and this is a lot stiffer. Of course it can handle and, and take a, a nice little beading. Um, I'm gonna add all kind of water and stuff to it. Um, nice stiff paper. And these are some of the projects that um, we've done this doesn't have anything on it so i can do that you notice <laughs> i like my circles i don't know why <laughs> but i do i like circles is someone on with me this morning oh sister bridget how are you this morning god bless you <laughs> all right and then this one is a uh, mixed media it can hold some stuff too it's not like that watercolor paper though and um, I've got, you know, I've got projects and stuff all over the place. Stuff I've started and, you know, I, I like this. I was thinking I was going to make this into a card. It says, Shalom, Shalom. All right. In Hebrew, peace, peace. All right. Uh, I was thinking about doing that on big canvas. And so that's what, uh, you know, some of these journal entries or, you know, me playing. <laughs> okay, I guess I don't have anything else. That was it. Um, gives me ideas for uh, larger pieces and um, maybe uh, some commission stuff. And um, that's always fun. All right. So I don't know if I want to go that big today. And I think I think I'm going to work out of this one today, all right? And because I have these pages that are, are done already, <laughs> where did that other one go? This way, I guess. Um, I'm thinking that I might use, I might use it, all right? Okay, I think so. I had some other ones, but this is two page and, um, I did want a, a bigger page than just doing um, the one side. I wanted to do two page spreads. So I think we'll go with this one since it's already, it's already kind of ready for me. Now, what I don't have on it are um, something that I like to do when I'm doing mixed media projects, especially uh, Bible related. Um, I think I like this one. This one seems a little bit more happier to me for some reason. <laughs> so maybe I'll use this. All right. And what I like to do is take Bible sheets and, um, I think I'll just take, I'll just take maybe one. Um, and I'm using Ezra. Ezra means help. Ezra means help. Okay and um, Hebrew name. And I wanna use, uh, of course, the lettering and, and do the words. Um, I think I wanna do today, Yahweh. Yesterday we did Yehovah, which is, um, a is that Latin? This is Latin, a Latin version um, of the word Yahweh. Okay, because we don't have a J in Hebrew. Um, Yehovah is uh, how it's, I guess, translated. Um, but it uh, it is Latin and Yahweh is Hebrew. Okay, so at any rate... <clears throat> Um, today I want to do, uh, Yahweh and we're going to do it in Hebrew lettering. So Yahweh Ezer or Ezra. <laughs> okay. Um, I mentioned, uh, I was mentioning my dad because this was, um, Father's Day weekend, right? And... And told the story and, and my 
in my sermon how my dad and I, he was coming to pick me up. I don't want to tear it. I don't, I don't want to tear the name off. I want to keep the name. <laughs> um, my dad was coming to pick me up from college. We were, um, I went to school in Maryland. And at the time we were, our home was Columbus, Ohio. So about a seven and a half hour ride or so from Columbus to, to Maryland at the school that I was at. Okay, so let me just put a pause on my story for a moment. <laughs> um, I like to add Bible, uh, Bible sheets to my journaling um, when it is going to be Bible related. Okay. And it's not so that we can necessarily read what's on the page, but just that it is a part of the piece. Okay. And because Ezra means help, and that's my theme for this uh, journal piece, I'm going to add the Bible sheets to this. Now, this was a Bible that was going to be thrown away, okay? Um, and I picked it up <laughs> and kept it because I'm saying I can use the paper um, and the, the Bible sheets um, as part of God's word in my journaling, all right? So this is not um, for us to read. This is just for us to... Um, Add to and I don't know that I want all of these big pieces, so you don't have to use all of it, you know, just <laughs> the captives returned. Nice. I think I'll put that in here too. All right. So that was the first page. We have Ezra's name written over here and just bits and pieces of the scripture as a part of our, our piece. Okay. Uh, maybe that one. I don't know. And they don't have to be so square like just to have a part of God's word in the piece. All right, I think we'll be done with that. And I'm gonna keep these and put these like in a baggie, all right? <laughs> and, um, and we'll use them for the next project. I'm going to um, use my gel medium to put those down. I'm thinking I might want to add a little bit of color to that though. All right. So this is just like glue. Um, goes on real nice and thin. And I have some um, On this, on this plastic that I have here, I've got a little bit of color here from my gelatos that I used uh, for another project. And when you put it on the plastic and you wet it, you can reuse this again. It comes right on back to its, you know. If, if I were to have done this on paper, I would have lost the color. Um, I wouldn't be able to use it again. But because I've chosen to... Um, put it on this plastic, um, I'm able to spritz this with some water and then reuse these colors. I've got a little bit of green here and I think I want to mix that with my um, regular gel mat, this um, um, a, a acrylic medium I can put on here. It's just like glue. Um, but it's going to dry very nice and clear, okay? But I wanna kinda, I didn't want these to stick out so much and I didn't necessarily want to uh, like paint all over uh, the page again. So I think I'm just gonna add a little bit of tint 
to it and um, mix that. So let me get my brush and um, and we'll spritz this with some water. Where is that little? Okay. I have, uh, you know how you kind of hide stuff <laughs> from yourself? Okay, it's not in here. Let's see. Where are you? Huh. I've got water right here. Oh, I see it. One second, people. All right. And I hid it from myself. <laughs> Dip. All right, here we go. So I'm just gonna spritz this and I'm really hoping um, in the camera real good and you all can see some of that. Now I don't want to um, like, maybe what I'll do is I'll put this on. And then I'll put the color on top of it. Right, let's, okay. And it just uh, gives some interest to your page. Anyway, I was telling you about my dad and I. Um, so I was coming home for break, and it was uh, um, around um, the holiday, you know, Christmas time or so. And so if you know anything about Ohio and Virginia, Pennsylvania, and them hills, um, it gets pretty cold. And gets very icy and so I was uh, my dad had driven that seven hours you know got up really early in the morning to come to pick me up and um, you know because he had <clears throat> gotten up early I said dad I'll I'll drive you know, I'll drive us back home or, I, you know, to give him a break. Because he had gotten up early to come and get me, drove that seven and a half hours. And, uh, you know, I was sure he was tired. So I took the wheel. And I tell you, probably within an hour and a half or so is when I end up hitting some black ice. And we started doing... We started doing donuts. And I'm screaming, Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. And Telling him I'm sorry <laughs> as the car is spinning. <laughs> and um, now I am picking up a little bit of that other color, which I don't mind. I, I'm okay with that because remember, I'm just, I'm really just kind of using it to push it, push it further back into um, the page picked up a little bit of yellow on that one. All right. I'll use a little bit of this green. I hope y'all can see what I'm doing. <laughs> All right. I 
keep kind of messing around with my my setup trying to trying to make things kind of easy for me. And let me pick up this. All right. So that just kind of pushes them a little further back without doing like the white, um, you know, gesso. I didn't want to do that. Uh, okay. I think we're done with that. I'm going to put this to the side. Anyway, we're doing donuts. I'm hollering and, and he's trying to grab onto the wheel to keep it straight, you know. And uh, finally, <clears throat> we end up hitting the, um, the side of uh, the embankment. Um, and cars, you know, uh, stops. There was no traffic, no cars in front of us, no cars behind us. Um, you know, my dad, he gets he gets out of the car and checks everything. Car is still running. And, I mean, it took us a lot longer for us to get home, but we were able to get home. Um, just an amazing, amazing car. We, we've got a lot of car experiences <laughs> and stories. Uh, but that is definitely one I remember. We didn't tell my mom for a long time. We didn't tell anybody that I was the one driving at the time. And um, my dad ends up uh, keeping that secret until he got up preaching <laughs> and spilled the beans. But, you know, at least at that time, I was... Um, I was okay with the testimony. I could handle that testimony being shared, you know. But I remember, I'm remembering my dad grabbing onto the wheel um, and uh, helping as that car is spinning. And I didn't know, I didn't know what to do. That was my first experience and first time um, ever going through anything like that. Um, but my dad, you know, he's an excellent driver and mechanic and <laughs> preacher and serviceman and, you know, and he knew what to do. And, um, he's a good dad and he came and helped and saved the day and brought us home. And doesn't that sound like somebody else? <laughs> going back to on y'all now, okay? <laughs> Isn't that just like somebody else who wants to save and, oh, my camera's, hold on, wants to save the day, right? Is there to save the day. All right. I am... Um, yeah, I'm really hoping that I'm in, I think in one, I'm not really in the camera real, real good. I apologize. All right, I'm going to use my heat heating tool to dry this so that we can do some other things on it, okay?
Okay, it is not dry just yet. And I will not put like marker or anything on it. If anything, I'll put more paint on top. But I'm gonna keep it away. I'll keep my markers away from um, the areas that are still damp. Cause you don't wanna ruin your markers, um, putting them in, um, you know, wet <laughs> gel mat and <laughs> um, water. <laughs> you don't wanna do that, okay? Um, I want to add though, and I, and I guess I will with, uh, some of the paint I, and this, the background I did a long time ago, just messing around with, uh, various things. And so, um, it looks like I used a little bit of that blue metallic paint and I think I want to fill in, <clears throat> I think I want to fill in, uh, maybe a few of the circles with with the with that paint. So I think I'll do that. And um, maybe some splashes too. Um, I want to try to I think I did a pretty okay job of, of covering these um, to kind of push that back. But you know, as it dries, it'll get a little lighter. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Let me, um, let me grab, I'll grab this again. I'm just going to put a little bit, or I guess I could just work out of the cap. I like to do that sometimes because I don't want to waste paint. <laughs> Let me, um, I can work out of the cap. It's got some here. So this is just real inexpensive um, uh, acrylic paint. And uh, it's a metallic color, so it's going to, that's going to have a nice little shine to it, you know. Yeah, so hey, doesn't my dad sound like what our, what our Heavenly Father has done by sending his son? Hmm? He saved a day. Saved a day and got us home and forgave me for messing up our van. It was one of those... Uh, Dodge. It was a baby blue color and had that paneling on the side, you know. <laughs> it was one of those. A little minivan. like the idea that I'm, though I'm hollering out for help, that he's right there and ready to take the wheel. I need that kind of help today. And I know some others of you that need it too. So that's what we're praying for. Mm -hmm. Okay, I was thinking I wanted to maybe do a little bit more stamping. Um, I've already got these words on my page, so I won't stamp with um, wording. Let's, let's see. And you know, I always say, you got this stuff, use it. Just, you know, just play. You just never know how your projects and things will uh, work out. So, it, and sometimes it's just fun to kind of uh, play around with your, your products and stuff. And you'd be surprised at um, 
the various things that you actually have in your arsenal already. You don't have to go out and go buy things. Um, you'd be surprised. you are like, oh, wait a minute, I've got. <laughs> you have children and uh, go through their supplies. All right, I'm tempted. I have, so there's some indescript writing right here. I didn't think I wanted to fill it with uh, any more because I've got this text here, all right? And not that I'm trying to have anybody to read it. Um, I'm really just, it's just for the peace, okay? Just. <laughs> and in keeping with our word. So today, if you're just joining me, kind of doing something a little different um, in that I'm not working in my Bible. I am doing a um, mixed media. I'm gonna put some of these down. Now I have these little dots around here, but I'm gonna use that. And I'm tempted not to use my black, but to maybe use um, maybe a color from here. Hmm. Let me go ahead. Let's see how that works. You know, you just, you never know. You just never know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna smush it. <laughs> into this color over here and see what that does. Okay. And I'm gonna, let's see what happens. Eh, you can barely see it. It's not working like, uh, yeah, maybe it's too, too wet. I don't know. just not enough color on that. Yeah, it's like, that's a little better. <laughs> Let's see what it does with this. I might just go ahead and uh, you can see it just a little bit. Looks more like a like coffee stain <laughs> kind of thing going on. And maybe over here. And um I'm not even bothering with changing the, the color on it. It's okay. Uh, here. Okay, that was more wet than I want it to be. Because <laughs> I didn't want it sopping wet. I just want it to be wet so that it can activate that color. But... a little better. That's a little better print. Okay. Yeah. All right. Done with stamping. <laughs> but it does make it a little interesting. It does. All right. I'm going to clean these off good because you don't want that to... Um, dry in your stamp, okay? So you clean them good. Let's see, do I want to do anything else? Guess I can hit it again with my heating tool. It should, um, 
It's still a little bit more damp than I than in my liking. Okay. Okay, so while that's still kind of doing its thing and drying, what I think I want to do is work on maybe my letters for, um, I, was, I was thinking I was going to draw and write Yahweh Ezer in Hebrew directly on this but maybe what I can do instead is to get some paper let's see I've got some pink paper here <laughs> An alarming alarming paper <laughs> here and I guess I could just, I could write them out and, uh, and maybe uh, cut them out and put them on. Um, let's see my hand at that. So let's let that dry there for a little bit. And then I'm going to, so that my letters will be the same, somewhat of the same length. I'll put um, easier over here. Let's see. Mm. So, um, no, we're doing it in Hebrew, right? We're doing it in Hebrew. So, let's do that. So I was tempted, or see, on yesterday, I didn't, I, I wrote out the word uh, that we would say in English, you know, the transliteration, I guess is what we call that, right? Um, but what I wanted to do is do it in Hebrew spelling. So, hello. Okay, I'm looking here in my notes. Google is your friend, people. Google is your friend. So I want to do Yahweh, okay? And that's like Yod, uh, You know I'm not gonna find it just because, right? <laughs> and I know I should know how to spell. Okay, let's do easier first. Let's write that down on a little card. Keep my notes together. And no, I didn't have it planned out. I didn't. I didn't know what I was going to do today. So easier. And um, iron, iron, Saudi, 
or Zion rather, rather Zion and um, Raish. So Raish, I'm just writing my notes here. Um, Zion and Ion. That's Ezer. And then when we do Yahweh, and I know I know it, but <laughs> just wanting to make sure. Come on, let's do this. We'll Here we go. So, Yod, Hey, Vav, Hey. Yod, Hey, Vav, Hey. I knew that. It's a Yod, so that's short. Okay. So that's what I want to put on my page. So, Yod, Hey, Ba, Hey, and Reish, uh, Zion, Ian. This is what I want on my page <laughs> in Hebrew, okay? All right, so let's try it. Let's try our hand at it. Um, we're going to do Reish here and uh, Zion <clears throat> and... And I'm going to cut that out. Where's my bag? My program's just a little longer today. I did start late, but, you know, when you're doing these mixed <laughs> media projects, sometimes things will go a little longer <laughs> than you intend. Now, I don't want the whole block of color. I want the letters to actually be cut out. <clears throat> I'm going to use my black marker to fatten them up, and then I'll cut around them, and that will help me. All right? So, this is Raish. If you're just joining me this morning doing a little mixed media project instead of our regular Bible uh, journaling. And um, I've had some pages and some journals that I uh, hadn't really done anything with. And so I thought today I'd take an opportunity to take an opportunity to use one of them. Okay, and this is iron. I could have printed out the letters or something, but you know, <laughs> did I mention that I wasn't sure what I was going to do today? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to cut around. I'm just going to leave just a little bit of that pink border around it. Again, just having, just having some fun. And as I ponder and think about uh, things going on uh, around me in my life and Hey, you know, scripture says that we should give all of our cares to him for he cares for us, right? I'm trying to decide if I'm going to keep the letters together, and I think I I think I will. I won't. 
we'll see. We'll see how that works out. Because it might be better if I kind of place them separately. Okay. All right, not perfect. Yeah, I think I'll do them separately. Not perfect, but I think it gets the job done. <laughs> All right, and so I should have done them a little shorter, but that's okay. I kind of, it's all right. All right, let's do Yahweh. Okay, and so Yahweh, remember, is Yod, Hey. Maybe I'll use the whole. <laughs> so let's see. Yod, hey, Vav, hey. All right. And we're going to try to get those as even as we <laughs> did these others. And hey, you know what? Doesn't have to be perfect. You're supposed to be having fun, fun with this, okay? If it's stressing you out, it's probably not something you should be doing. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> So this is Yahweh. All right. I know we did uh, Jehovah on yesterday. And Jehovah is uh, a, like a Latin form of, of Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Yehovah. Just a little lesson, just a little something. <laughs> okay, you learn something on the program, right? <laughs> All right, so. My scissors will cut out the yod. If I had been thinking, I might would have had these things done already. But, hey, you're getting to see the process, all right? And, yeah, it's all right that it takes time to do. Take some time. It's all right. Take the time. I think I'm going to leave this together. I'm not going to take that apart. At least I don't think so. We'll see. It might look better if it's detached. It might look better. I don't know. We'll see. And um, just those of you that are maybe just joining us and wondering what I've got here. Um, yeah, I had an old uh, journal that I, you know, work out of every once in a while and uh, wanted to do sort of a mixed media project today. Um, of course, still Bible related and... Um, 
Yesterday we did Jehovah Ezer because that means um, God is my help, right? And uh, I wanted to do it in um, in Hebrew in a mixed media project we did do the Hebrew in my dad's Bible. You know, I've been using my dad's Bible to do only Hebrew in. And um, I, um, I wanted to do this pro kind of project today. Just, just doing something a little different, just mixing it up. <laughs> Okay, was trying to decide whether I was going to detach that. I think I'm going to leave it, okay? And we'll put that here, okay? And move these things to the side. And I probably will get out my gel, uh, Maybe I'll do it in the center, maybe straight across. Maybe. Let's see. Do I have that right? I hope I have that right. Yod, hey, Vav, hey, that's Yahweh. And Ezer. Yahweh is my help. Or help Yahweh. <laughs> hmm. I think that's the way that goes, y'all. I think that's the way that happens. All right. Okay, so I'll use my mixed media. <clears throat> um, this is a gloss. That one I don't want. Here you are. We'll get that back out and we will uh, glue these down. Okay. It's, that's kind of interesting looking. <laughs> All right. And I'm almost done. I won't bother with putting the vowels on until maybe later, okay? You know, in, in traditional Hebrew, you wouldn't see the vowels, they just know. could have trimmed my letters a little better, but oh well. <laughs> okay. So I think I'm going to go ahead and sign off and I'll finish up my project. I'll probably put a border around it and I don't know, um, as my scripture the pieces of paper with the scripture on it is drying uh, you can still see it pretty good uh, and I don't know I don't know if I like it or not
Well, it's a fun project today. I hope that you enjoyed this. I know it was some work that I didn't I didn't show you all because it was already done. I already had had this background done and I just hadn't done anything with it. So I thought today would be a good day to pull that out and use it for this mixed media project. And when I mean mixed media, we're talking about the various products that we used in order to create, um, you know, we've used watercolor, we've used uh, paper, marker, acrylic paint, okay? So that's what makes it mixed media when you're using various products in order to achieve your project. Okay. It acts like it wants to bubble. And, yeah. All right. Okay. Yahweh Ezer. And we learned that Ezra is same, derivative of Ezer, meaning God helps. Amen? All right. Okay. I think I'm going to stop there. That's got to dry anyway real, real good before I really do anything else to it. I couldn't put a border around here, which um, I most likely will do. And uh, I'll see about some of these, the Bible sheets that I put on there. Um, but at any rate, this will be the project for today. I hope you all enjoy that, got inspired. And um, hey, call on God. He will help you. All right? That's his name, Yahweh Ezer. <laughs> Jehovah Ezer. God helps. God is my help. Amen. All right. May your journey be sweet. We will see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye.